What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to The Devil in Me. We got the audio gear on. Hearing it through the headset, through the boom mic, yo, i that's production stuff that I know nothing about, man. But I'll be damned if I'm not prepared for a jump scare right out the door. Oh my gosh, she is in there balling. I don't think it's in that room. Oh, there was something going on in there. Let me take this off my ear a little bit. This stuff is just a bit too loud for me right now. There's that book. I'm glad we took that off of our heads. Can we pick that up and bring it with us? We can open it. I didn't even realize that. Breathing techniques for emergencies. In earlier chapters, we looked at how abdominal breathing can help build resilience against anxiety. Practicing techniques such as Tumo or Pranayama for just 20 minutes a day has been shown to build a buffer against stress over time. But sometimes, when sudden anxiety or panic sets in, you need quicker techniques for the moment. This is what we'll be exploring in this chapter, the 5 for 5 technique. Find a seat that's as comfortable as possible and loosen any restrictive clothing. Breathe in gently through your nose for 5 seconds. Try to breathe into your stomach, but don't worry if you can't. Breathe out through your mouth for 5 seconds as if you were blowing out a candle. Repeat this for 5 minutes until you begin to feel calmer. Note, some people find it helpful to picture a relaxing environment whilst they breathe. I like to imagine floating through space, discovering new planets far away from Earth. What might your relaxing environment be? Alright, we seem to be getting closer. I hear it in my left ear. Is it through a false wall? Take this back off real quick. Why did the crying stop? Did the crying stop because she heard me coming down the hallway? Oh my god, we can snoop? No way. Where are they? I, I need to find that right now. Wait, what's that? A dark picture. Oh my gosh, bro. And it just... It had to be Emma. They are fixing to set this girl up to die first, bro. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Deeper than anyone else. Trust me. Oh my gosh. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from... Uh-uh, bro. Where, where is that coming from? I told you there's a false wall. The gallows? The execution of H.H. H. Holmes. Don't be nothing be behind me, please. Okay, good. So I'm hearing multiple things. Are you not gonna say anything to any of this noise? What is all that? Is that the groundskeeper? Oh, Smeagol? Speaking of Smeagol, let me take this off real quick. Sounds like that dadgum taxidermy crow. That scared me. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh! We have. Oh no, sir, dude! No, sir! If there's one thing about horror, it's the noise, bro. The noise is what scares me the most. And that's all we got is noise. I'm back in the Beneficiento house. (laughs) 
I found where the crying is! I am legitimately terrified right now. I got no commentary, I'm sorry. We're just walking through the dark. I can't see nothing. Why am I the only person reacting to this? I think we're getting somewhere. The noise is getting louder. Ooh, ooh. I could just take that off at any time, dude. That's crazy. What do you think I could have missed? Put the headphones on. You think that could muffle her ears to where she doesn't hear anything? But that wouldn't make any sense if she's got that, huh? Oh my gosh, it was a literal recorder? Oh my gosh! Oh no. Oh no. What are we doing? She's stuck. She's caught. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. Dad, gum. Breakers. Okay, so now the game's begun now. Now it's it's go time. No. That's supposed to resemble her hair. The only one with a flashlight. It would be you, huh? I'm glad I turned around. I learned my lesson in House of Ashes. Right. Did I open this? No. I didn't have the opportunity to do that again. With Charlie, I kind of figured out how to open that a bit too late. And I didn't get to look at it again. What's this? This is where the key was, by the way. All right, what the heck does huh. this say? Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. The World's Fair Hotel was a hotel like no other. Its hallways ran red with blood. Its sheets were washed in mothers' tears. The price of a room came at the cost of your life, and the owner was a liar, a fraud, and quite possibly the most prolific murderer in American history. Transpose some imagery. Because we've already seen that bloody rain came to an end at the Philadelphia courtroom, where H.H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he inflicted upon so many others, death. And in 1895, his hotel, or murder castle, as it became known, was gutted in an act of suspected arson before the building itself was torn down in 1938, consigning another part of Holmes's infamy into history, or so it seemed. Does our audience understand consigning? Does our crew understand consigning? It may look like I've stepped back to those dangerous days of 1839, but I can assure you I am safe and sound in present-day Illinois. You can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guests trapped here, doomed to become Holmes' next victims. So without further ado, let's step back in time and maybe see if we can uncover a few macabre secrets that might still be lingering. So that's the script. This is our names. Uh-huh. Okay, we saw that earlier. Can I turn the page? I can. Ooh. Charlie, okay. That has to be us down there. So there were five Morellos before us. Literally, the day before us, they checked out. And we got a call saying, you have to do this today. Bro, he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing when he did it. Oh, man, dude. And he's not even here. So, who is doing what? Go ahead and click that. Oh, would have been nice if it worked. I'd carry that sucker around. 
Spotlight will give away your position. Not if I hit you upside the head with it, it won't. You'll be seeing spotlights when I hit your ass with a Hello? spotlight. Mr. Demet? <laughs> There's a bar in there somewhere. <laughs> but how? The lady looks 10 years younger, but how? Umbus Spa? Bathhouse, manicures, day spa, facials, and more. European health secret now on Lake Michigan. Staff notice due to the winter sun pool, opening hours have changed. Our new hours are daily 10 to 5. Thursdays open late at guest requests. Management. 0451, I see that. Uh-huh, Ned Yoke. Digital lock installation. That's all? That's cheap as hell. Hold up! Authorization for emergency services. I confirm that I have the authority to order the security components itemized above and that the supplier is absolved from any and all claims resulting from installation or use of this equipment. Now, why would that be a thing? 0451. I'm gonna need to remember that. You already know we're about to be nosy this episode. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse, illegible. Lake Illegible, which I'm assuming is Lake Michigan, August 3rd, 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. Uh, codicil? However you pronounce that, has been added which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. And I saw that name on that first paper. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for their records. Please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Jessica Maxwell's handwritten signature, senior administrator. Okay, so they added a clause to their will. Stop it. They added a clause to their will that says in the event both Might of them Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Everything goes to the one person. Grand opening. All right, so let's go this way. Don't do it. Every corner is suspect. Hmm, what's that? Dark picture? Nope, it's a blank picture. Even worse. Great. Into the creepy maintenance room in the what? creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Oh, come on now. Why would you not bring that <sighs> with choices, you? Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Been at Killer Familia? Who is this? Who? What is this? Online auction for serial killer memorabilia. Wow. Item name. Oh, he ordered the hat. 24 grand? People are serious about it, though. We finding all the secrets. Pick that up. Uh-huh. Mr. Clark. Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating. Is Richard behind all this? We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Sincerely, Kelly Schroeder's handwriting. Site Project Administrator. Okay, so we're seeing a bunch of the same names. We're seeing a bunch of the same names be involved with the construction, the legality. They probably were the first ones to go. Like with building a crypt. The first people to go in there are the builders. Another one of these. Uh-huh. Dear Mr. Belknap, 
following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find Overleaf a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate for the total cost. The work can commence Tuesday 13th of January, I wonder if that was Friday the 13th, and will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Kelly Schroeder once again. Thank you. Thank God. Hey. Something from this century. Thank you. Okay, so we got to do this again. I've had to wire the system in on itself due to the shoddy equipment at this place. Follow the diagram and you'll be fine. Laura again. Okay, so let's go here, uh, here, here, ah, I think I'm doing them backwards. Yeah, I think I'm doing it backwards. I should go this way first. Okay, I think this is it. Please. Yes! It was backwards. Yay! We on the case. Good job, girl. Woo! That's much better. I know whoever turned out the lights is about to be pissed. It's a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. Oh, no. Are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. It's like another Repeat. storm. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. Oh, so how are we going to be able to get help or anything? That is a whole robot, bro. Wait, no, 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 no. Hit it one time. Oh, I hit it twice. Nope, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it right now. I don't even know who's making that noise. I, I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that. I want to get out of this room right now. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama. Oh my gosh. Imagine what would have happened if I would have clicked that button, dude. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a Yeah, there's foil, probably a, a gaslight in that going. other room. This will be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. Where's everyone else? It's just us. Don't worry about them. I gotta, hey, I gotta worry about thanks them. Thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Is that Emma? <laughs> yep. Blacked hey. out room. Emma. Hey, Aaron. Help. Sorry. Somebody help <laughs> Emma's me. in the quarry. <laughs> oh guys, no. Guys, please. Oh, and it's so dusty Aaron? in there. You see it? Get me out of here. I can't get the door open. I I, I can't get the door open. Get me out. We saw the breathing. Right here. Calm down, Erin. You're right. Panicky. She oh wait. Is that from earlier? Why is it in the corner? Yeah, we read that in the book. It's okay. We're right here. You're not 
Oh my gosh, you? look at her. Hold on. Don't say nothing. Hang on, Aaron. We're on it. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Just focus on, on breathing. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this. Yeah, you can't I, talk when you're panicked. You guys, gotta breathe. I... I can't... I can't tell what's even happening on the screen right now. At least I know that... We are alone in the room. As far as Who's I there? know. Oh no. I think being quiet might have did it. Don't panic. Uh so This yes. is it. Get away from me! Defensive. Her inhaler. Attack or take? No, nah, because she got hit with something. Don't do anything. That was the right call? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just Wait, breathe. I'm tripping. I'm tripping Just right now. Breathe. I'm tripping right now. It was on the screen for a reason. Hey. I I might have pressed it at the last you minute. What? Did you see him? I only have a certain Come limited on. number of puffs. He he was through the whole game. Somebody was right game? there, in there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show. I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down. Get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Oh, is it? supposed to be the girl who cried Holmes oh my gosh I cannot believe that I cannot believe that dude she she would have died right ah. there she'd there have died are. right there bro I think Aaron's shown signs of serious pluck wouldn't you say you almost got seriously now, plucked our wayward host Mr. Dumet Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. You better not have pulled an Uta I Itachi. I <laughs> you did, can though. Be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Oh, and who is that gonna be? Who is that gonna be? Whoo! Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way. Yeah, and if, now if you're it's not getting convinced scary. to oh, leave relax. now. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it. But Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. Ignorant. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give I'm me a I'm surprised she didn't kick on her, her headphones. Excuse you. <sighs> and nah, he exit just, stage left. He needs a cigarette. Oh, so confident and sure leader. What was that? <laughs> <sighs> Charlie is Being thinking, Charlie. which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? 
What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something, anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? I mean, it is a bit odd. Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. Both of y'all are ignorant. I know what I saw. You and Charlie. Right. Here's the plan. We've already Lord. got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. Mm -hmm. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. The this needs left. to happen. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. Mm. I still think your priorities are fucked. They are. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait, do you have to go? I'll be right back, promise. Oh. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Mmm, everybody's Aaron divided now. Okay, you're right. Sorry, it's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. I mean... Let's go, Aaron. Everything's Where is okay. the common Wait sense, here. Mark? Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Everybody's Let's all be just quick. separating. We'll be right back. Promise. You can't wait for her. Then y'all buddy system. No, the buddy Sorry, system. Still freaked out. We already can you established leave it open so you this. You guys can hear me. Of course. Because every room in this place could be a death trap. Every room. Especially okay, where they sleep. Genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? And we're playing I'm for I'm not Charlie looking for Demet. We're playing I'm as scouting Charlie. for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to uh -huh. Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> uh-huh. I agree. Let's see what's over here in this corner. Oh, yeah, that's the... Wait a second. 180, 179, 180. So something happened for the 180th time. Is this the 180th game? Because that wasn't like that before he left. That wasn't like that before the lights went out. What is this the here? 180th I... time they've done this? No idea. I don't understand. I, I don't want to assume I've got unlimited oil in this sucker either. Here's another picture. Oh my gosh! Cured. Cured of your anxiety, huh? Yeah, because now you don't have any more anxiety. All right, let's finally get in here. Ooh. This looks pretty old. That better be her walking up to me. Oh, Mr. Hector Monday, August 10th, 1992, a month after I was born. Mr. Monday, thank you for choosing Twilight Prairie as residence for your mother. Lucinda is already settling in very well. We encourage visitors as often as possible and look forward to seeing you again soon. Linda Price, General Manager. But we're finding all the secrets. I need to know all the things. Uh-huh, slow pan through. Eight. Wait, so this room was tossed. That was the paper from earlier, the script. Oh boy. Jamie, over here. What the heck? Oh. 
Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Really? Are you kidding me? What We're have you been doing? Conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Across the Maybe carpet? It's so let me ask you this, Charlie. Who's gonna clean it up? And why haven't they got to it yet? Why are the lights out? What is that? I know you see that, Charlie. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Hell no. Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left? Nope. Hell no, dude. Charlie is so daggum simple. I wasn't talking about you, Mr. Dumet. Why am I the only person with a light on? You have a flashlight, don't you? What is this? The FBI? First oh, Monday, on October 12th, FBI memo. It's like the Airport, the stuff I from House of Ashes. The, the diary. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I don't remember me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who... Just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Oh, internal memorandum. Our assistance is required in Chicago. They have a potential serial killer. Two victims so far and more anticipated. Following your success on the Sherman case, I need you to fly out there tomorrow to investigate. I know you've spent some time there recently to help with profile training, so the local detectives should be welcoming. They'll fully brief you when you land at O'Hare. Just a random FBI document just chilling on the floor. Hope it's getting louder, don't do it. Gotta be ready for a quick time. This hallway could swallow us up at any time. What is that struggle for? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What in the, is that a hand? I don't believe it. I don't trust it for a second. That has got to be a tape recorder. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the struggle is coming from. Can I turn this off? I mean, she hit that though, didn't she? Just open this door. Can you hear that? Please, help the fuck? I ran right to it. Help me. Please, please. Are you? I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? What the heck? We're in freaking saw God. right now. Look. You idiot. You idiot. You stepped on a pressure pad. What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. Oh you shift your my on that gosh. This guy is getting run through by that thing. Oh, you believe her now? He can stab you through that. If you don't move to save yourself, you die. Jamie.
It was either me or you, cuz! So I chose nobody! Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. You have a lighter. You have a flashlight. Why are we dealing with the dark right now? And where'd he go? What's happening? Where, where'd he go? I do. Where did he go? Now. <gasps> Charlie. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. I guess we're off to a good start. But poor Winston, though. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> what you originally didn't believe. <laughs> We're trapped. Jesus. You're joking me. We're trapped? What do we do? Start busting Break down walls. Doldos. Right. On three. One, two, three. I mean, you can uh, put your foot uh, through there, right? Uh, no, sir. You hear that? That sounds yes. like something shifting. What is happening? We don't know what this house is capable of doing. We could see a staircase flatten, and we slide down it. Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. Rock is sharp as hell, and, you know, super magical. Hey. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If I'm gonna know, remember that. And don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Mmm. That is factual. It makes me feel better. I mean, I'm sure he understands that, so... I mean, I agree with that. Maybe you're right. You gotta make sure to be able to do it but yourself. you don't have to be an asshole about it. I mean, that is true, too. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to- I have to tell you something. Okay. Again? Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About oh. what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah, there is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because mm. it would be. Why didn't you go for it? Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Mmm. I didn't think about that one. I, I had my suspicions, but... I guess I didn't even think of that. I didn't want to assume. We really finna get y'all back together, ain't we? I... I just... What do you want me to say? Oh, man. Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. I should have said this before. I was honest about my priorities. I mean, if Mark, she's got I've her priorities... I've never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. We better go. More practicality. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. I know that's right. We have got to get back to her. Did we should never. Oh. Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the thing dropped for Mark. It's okay. We can get it back up. But I don't want to act like she doesn't have an opinion too. Who's going these doors? That's a good question. Is, Ain't no uh, way. We will help her in the yellow coat. Yeah, about him. <laughs> nah, every locked door we see, the music gets more intense. Don't do it. Wait. Campus Strangler? What's that? What?
campus strangler. Joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Did you do that? Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. Oh. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. Mm-mm. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. Oh, and There's she was left alone. On not to go out on your own. Right, that's what the Shelby buddy system. When I didn't show, and oh, that's she when was. He, that's when he got her. Oh man, it's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. Just what the hell is that? Until dawn. I have no idea. No, nah, something's like moving. Bad. What the hell? Get over here now, Charlie! Oh, push, push, push! There you go, Mark. There you go, Mark. I can't hold this. Well, we gotta pull it. I have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie, Charlie! The only one by themselves what the hell is. I, oh I don't no! Know. But I think it's really, really bad. Don't, don't be looking at Mark. Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That's and it's right. completely yeah, dark on that corridors, side. Crawl space has to be. At least we're oh, finally another light source. Thank goodness. At least we're together. I've been telling y'all that I've been looking at false walls. <gasps> You're joking. How do uh, you even what's make going on? that? How? Matt, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of idiot. miles between eccentric and murderous. I've been telling y'all about these false walls. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. Yep. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And, and I said that. Is? I said that too. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. I know. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Demet. Y'all remember that thing that busted out of that door and ran out the window? Yeah, we never saw what that looked like. 180. But There's door 180. Been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Yep. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Yep. Oh, what the fuck? Nah, fam. Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Nah, fam. I don't want to investigate that child's voice. Not in the slightest. We have already determined that we're dealing with a bunch of tape recorders. And I'm pretty confident that it's tape recordings all over this place and from previous Charlie, victims. come here. How's it get this open? There are cameras all over the place, so... He has the ability to get the audio he needs. Dang it. Red. Every time there's red light, there's a problem. Oh, it's just okay. It's it's still bad. It's still a freezer. Oh, butcher's dog. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
This could potentially be We're where Charlie bites what? the dust. A Russian nesting doll, you know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Huh? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Oh. Even if we get out of this room. How do we get out of the hotel? Yeah. Then how do you get off? Yep. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right. Of course. Do it. Natalie Morello. Oh, are you? Natalie Morell. Oh, Holy shit. That is actually Natalie Morello. Body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. What? No, no, no. Oh. Maybe. Fuck. You're probably right. Oh boy. Okay. Let me come back over here. See if there's anything it's going freezing. on over here. Yeah. We could get trapped in here and then just freeze to death. Just get me out of here. Charlie, I found a way out maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. Charlie? That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Davey! Dad, gum it, Charlie. Ouch. He hit his head hard, dude. Charlie? Fuck. See what I mean? Just underneath the door. It's so easy. I know somebody was in there. Or are you reviewing audio footage? I can't, I can't breathe. Relax, slow, deep breaths, in and out. Ah, oh, come on. Now, I was quiet. That has to play a part. There was somebody in there. That has to play a part. The fact that I didn't say anything. What? Because I told you. They gotta hear this. You can't get out of Wait. there now. You didn't shut the door. Don't touch it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't touch it. <sighs> Too late. Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? <clears throat> oh my gosh. Dude, if a hat... Come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. If a hat was 24 grand, how much do you think it took to make that one door? Oh, okay, so I can... can take the inhaler. Let me go ahead and just take it now. Bearing updated. Aaron didn't use the inhaler in the blackout room. What's ironic is that I clicked that inhaler button right at the end of the time limit it gave me. Uh-huh, so I have one more puff than I would've. Okay, so I've got a flashlight, but can I use the flashlight? I can't use both. Okay, so while I'm just walking around, I'll kind of listen in. Look at all this dust, dude. She needed her inhaler in here. I didn't like how that happened. Take that off. Snake oil. Treatment for what? Made from the finest King Cobra. Silver Rash Institute. Silver, Silver Ash. 
Institute. I don't like that. That sounds purposeful. <laughs> the Silver Ash Institute. Why? Look at the emphasis on the dirt and the dust particles in the sky. Oh no. You might want to be sure those are mannequins. Those aren't mannequins. Those are bodies, dude. Those are actual bodies. They they have to be bodies that are stood up like this. That's that's too damn real, dude. Oh, what oh the hell? my gosh. Oh, don't don't get anywhere near that. Oh, no, back up. It was going no, 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 sir. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Stop. What the hell is that? I don't like that window right there. Boy, okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Secret found. Sherman Tate 3? This time. You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, well, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? Oh. What's going on with you Monday? Is this the Arkansas guy? Oh, you seem different. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. Know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27. But we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I had the time to try and beat that. Is that what he's sure, doing? Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Uh-huh. Does anyone notice if they go missing? Ah. Uh... My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. Mm. I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not Ooh. murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. He's talking just like Holmes. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. Why no is he right, though? No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. Why is he right, though? No one gives a shit. <laughs> I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Oh my gosh. That was a neat little thing to listen to. Number three? Did I miss the other two? Cause I am sad that I did. Okay, White Oak Elementary, White Oak Hospital. Okay, so I'm starting to connect the dots now. 
October 10th, 1972. Dear Miss Monday, I have tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behavior in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently at other children in an aggressive and threatening manner. During gym class this week, his teacher noticed that he had come to school with severe bruising on his legs. We're very concerned about his welfare. Please contact me at your earliest convenience to discuss. Sincerely, Glenn Thompson, Principal. Wait. Could Monday have ended up with the devil in him? Is Monday... The actual killer? Because I'd believe it. Dr. Holmes' miracle cure. Banish the demon drink with Dr. Holmes' miracle cure. For too long, a predilection of alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber. Yet startling breakthroughs by renowned physicians have demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment, same as syphilis and cholera, and can only be successfully treated as such. But although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greed of their manufacturers has put the majority beyond the purse of the common man, particularly when the common man has already been driven to the brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the esteemed Chicago practitioner, Dr. Henry H. Holmes, who at his personal expense had established the Silver Ash Institute, bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses. Already the good doctor is achieving remarkable results with those who pass through the doors of his clinic. At the Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse to prayers illegible, plea with the Almighty. The only law is submission to Dr. Holmes and his miracle cure, a patented yet highly affordable compound of secret ingredients, including purest silver drawn from the mines of North Dakota. When ingested thrice daily for a program of four weeks, this cure is eligible to exercise the patient of his prior iniquitous appetites. Indeed, following one month's treatment at the Silver Ash Institute, under the strict instructions of Dr. Holmes, there will be little of your bad old self remaining by the time you depart. Silver Ash Institute. Yep, and I'm pretty confident. Ooh! Baron, hello? Jamie! Boy, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I didn't know if that was my shadow or someone else's, but that was a delayed scare. <laughs> That was a delayed Jamie? scare. What even is that? Aaron? You there? Uh, hello? Uh-uh. Can you hear me? Oh, hell no! Nah. How are- You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't- Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. No. What are you talking about? That's where the noise Aaron. is. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? <gasps> There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No. Oh, boy. This is a moment where I actually don't know what to do. There is no sense in her having the ability to talk to me right now. And doing nothing has done a lot for me. So I'm in the dark. Why? Just don't do anything. Gosh dang it. I mean, give me the opportunity to run. Oh my gosh. Nope. Nope, she got got. It didn't make any sense to hide. It didn't. It didn't. Aaron didn't do anything after hearing Jamie over the microphone. Dumet captured her. I, I, I. Charlie? Jamie? Hello? I did not trust where that voice at all. Hopefully somewhere safe wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. 
because then he would have known exactly where I was. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Yes. Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. No. You shouldn't have walked in there. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes. The mannequins. Wow, the attention to detail is crazy. Two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite her bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? A reason for us to walk the other way. Don't what, what get are you doing? near anything. Just stay back from it. What has Charlie gotten us into? This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, no, but you if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck them up. You accept that fear and step away from the table. Do not touch anything. Have anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Nope. I'm not touching nothing. I don't care what I miss. I'm not touching anything. Am, am I able to get a to get a good picture? Can can I can I at least can I at least get a picture? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not there touching nothing. I'm not messing with nothing. I'm not touching nothing. I'm leaving. But why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I said I'm leaving. I don't care. Let me about this door right now. Yep. Oh. Okay, good. Why is the lobby closed off? Kate. I didn't close it. I don't know. What the hell is happening? I don't know, but I wasn't about to find out. It's too damn dark but right now. Why would he invite us here? And okay. And okay. Okay. End of the hall. Can't go that way. What about this way? Can I get out this way? So damn dark. I can't do anything but go in here and mess with something. I'm not gonna mess with the obvious one. I can touch all of them. We just examine this okay, one. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? No, back up off it. You hear that? I had the opportunity to look at one. Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Do we have to hide? Watch out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We don't know who it is. <laughs> Jamie! Thank God! I'm not stupid. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. What happened? What nope. happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Wow. Right in front of us. Just, just... Demet? Iced him. It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Nah, he got Aaron. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? Why do I, I feel know. like that was inevitable, though? We got though? separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other This side, is why I didn't kidding? listen. Because they bodies have our voices. Dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! Dead. 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 Who was that? That was a real... Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's fake. A prop, or from an animal, or something. It has to no, be. No, sir. No, 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 no way. That's a real eye, dude. Are they using body parts in these mannequins oh, oh, for it's realism? Real. It's fucking real! I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. And you done left the stun gun. I wouldn't have left nothing. Why did you leave her? Oh, 
It's locked. What's going on? Yeah, don't door, leave her behind. <clears throat> Come on, put your brakes you into it. it. You want to play around? Get out here right now. Let's fucking play. Hmm. Go ahead and confront him. I see you, Mark. Oh yeah, we're down in the down in the depths. But he's got Aaron. Maybe Charlie has a chance to save her. You good? Nah, it was scary when everything looked nice. Now it actually looks like we're in a dungeon. Find a way out of the basement. Alright, first of all, check the room. Oh? Jamie! Hello! Jamie! I'm okay! That's where I slid down. Random key? A random key. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh no. That was so obvious of me. That was so obvious of me to do. That means if gas flows through this room, that one little detail is gonna kill this man. Cage key, oh my gosh. Why? I, I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. I wish I did not touch that key. Because why do I feel like I can just use the... Oh, I had no choice. I thought I had a card. I do... Wait a minute! Okay, so I didn't have a choice then. Okay, I was about to say... Get me out of here. <laughs> what are we looking at here? Oh my gosh. Chicago killer, victim two, cause of death, abdominal injuries, victim's teeth have all been removed. Oh my gosh, but you know, this is real though. We got another one. Photos of victims. On the first one? Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. Uh-huh. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Oh. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. Means they knew what they were doing. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. Oh my god! That created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Bro, messing with people's teeth, dude. You gotta be some sick bastard to go that far right here is a good thumbnail that's crazy is that where Aaron is I don't want to touch this because I'd be flipping the power off oh lord do I really have to let me just explore this room real quick again uh huh I knew I missed something KD. Kill death ratio? What? Odd book. This thing has seen better days. January 17th, 2017 at 519 p.m. Most of the crew have arrived at the island, moved all the equipment up to the hotel, met with hotel proprietor, Mr. Belknap. I knew it. On-site assessment has begun, excavation has begun in the hotel basement. 
illegible, work on the first and second floor is going as expected, some equipment has gone missing. Filed a report and requested replacements via Mr. Belknap per our contract. James Kelly has left the project, left a note citing an emergency, didn't contact me directly, written report to follow. First set of moving walls have been implemented, acquired a copy of the blueprints for Mr. Belknap, started work on basement ceiling supports, tomorrow illegible, illegible, illegible. What? What was that? Maybe that brick that's in front of you? Cause was that gap always there? Nah, bro. Okay, fine. Just grab it and pull. I didn't have anything else that I could do. Who sets up? a record player to go off automatically. Oh no. Be mindful what you touch. I don't want to touch that though! Oh god. Freaking Ken doll, what the hell? Working with the enemy. Well, Charlie, time to die. I hardly knew you. Because I don't know what we're doing right now, dude. Oh boy. Feed in. Uh huh. Another one to pull. What is that? Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. I knew it. That gap in the brick was there for a reason. Somebody was in here looking at us and we are literally following the very trail that they're on. Get me out of here. Oh, what in the heck is this? Why is this a dead end room? No. Do I squeeze? Okay. Oh, I know what happened last time. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. We're okay. I think. Do I hop over this? Yep. Sure do. Okay. What's over here? There's got to be something over here. Please let it open. I don't have a card. Dadgum it! Do I not have a card? I do have a card! So I lost my Zippo, but I have my card. Here it goes. Alright. Don't do it. Oh, it's one of those. I still don't know what these are for. But I found 20 of them bad boys. Watch it be like a bad thing to have a lot of those. Don't do it. No, no, I, no, no, no. I don't like enclosed rooms right now. I don't. I'm going to die if I pull that. We're off to Candy Mountain, Charlie. <laughs> We're off to Candy Mountain, Charlie. It had... Boy, that was some of the scariest stuff I saw. The fact that his eyes... His... his the glasses reflected off the red light. I'm not turning a light on right now. Wait. Hold on a second.
lights were on. The lights turned off. Something immediately started moving in the dark. I only have nothing. I don't have a Zippo. I just remembered that. So, what are we doing exactly? What's, what's the play here? It said three fire emojis on there. The only source of fire that I'm aware of is back in that cell we were in. Nah, bro. I feel like something's about to happen. Something has to happen. Something has to. Be ready. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't even look through that. That would have been nice. I could have seen what was in there. Is that his Zippo right there? Is that his Zippo on the floor right there? It has to be. Okay, at least there's nothing else in here with me right now. Is this a ladder? Unfortunately, it doesn't take me out. Now let's try not to... Oh, the doll. Wait a minute. And and I said something about burning it. I'm so scared right now. I'm not going in there. Absolutely not. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there unless you make me. I'm not going to do it. But you're gonna make me do it, ain't you? God. I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. I can't go in there. I'm here. First death. Who this? Well, hello, gorgeous. Back away. Where have you please? been all my life? Can I back away? I cannot back away. Oh, Charlie. Praise the Lord. I'm glad you said Dream. that now. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. It's about to be the last cigarette of your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get out. Get out now. Get out now. Get out, you dumbass. I tried to get out. I tried to get out. The bar? The mannequin is gone! Oh, snap. Are they about to be looking at me? Because H.H. Holmes, as you saw... Yeah, they're, they're gonna be looking at me. They're gonna watch me burn. Oh my gosh, Charlie. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can reach through! What? Oh, he can't reach. It gives you a chance to get out. We gotta... Be mindful. Anything could be a trap in here. Yep, there it is. There's the gasoline. I am so glad that I don't have my lighter, but... Hey! How are we gonna hey, get hello. out of this? I'm here! Hello. Oh my gosh, we're not getting out of this. Oh no! Can we do nothing?
Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's not immediately dead. We've got to we've got to be ready. We've got to be ready. We've got to be ready. Bro, you could have couldn't you have hooked that jacket onto that lever? Lift crate or store. Lift the crate. Lift the crate. Or lift the grate. Not the crate. The grate. Because he tried to reach earlier. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Whoa, Charlie! Whoa, Charlie! Lift the grate! It's right there! You've got to lift it! Come on, Charlie! Yes! Yes! Get in there, Charlie! Get in there, Charlie! Oh my gosh!